probably out of all the places that I live the most equal. We have the most equality here and it's refreshing and it's awesome. From my experience of just living here a year, um, it appears fairly equal. The Netherlands is quite progressive, actually. Environment is uh, better for uh, women in the Netherlands than uh, for women in Poland. Your gender doesn't matter here, just you are first a human being. I think the Netherlands is known generally for a place where there's no bias against people or their race, sex. That's something that the Dutch can be really, really proud of. People don't have any bias about, uh, uh, yeah, if you are a lady a worker or you are a man worker, you know, it doesn't matter. Well, I think there is uh, very little discrimination in the Netherlands and uh, women have, I think, equal all rights and chances. Yeah, for me, I think here that uh, men and women are equal. I think the Netherlands, the society itself, it's a very very uh, homogeneous. The differences between men and women are much smaller than the differences that we see in other countries. And women are really strong. That's also probably an add-on result of women having to pay for their dates. Dutch men don't give flowers. Or at least open that door, yeah? <laughs> they don't open the doors, they don't uh, you know, uh, help you with the seat. I like here because men here can do a lot of girl things. Dutch men are uh, more involved in uh, caring after children and their families than Polish men. I see like dad and mom and the dad is holding his baby and the mom is walking without anything and I was like wow this is so beautiful here to see dad with baby in Syria most of the time the mother has to carry the child and do everything and here everybody share everything yeah I think of the couples is the way it works with my boyfriend we share doing uh, the house um, preparing the food um, yeah, I feel more respected here. Our uh, ex-neighbors, uh, the father, go out with the daughter to paint her nails, to make her hair. It's a girl thing in Brazil, but the father goes with the girl and the mother goes to watch a Star Wars movie with the son. It's a boy program. Nobody judges. It. It's very common here. It's very nice. Men and women equally can do the, the work, best person for the job, we should do it. Here, you are more responsible of the well-being of the company. So you have the responsibility. So even you are a woman or a man, you have the same responsibility. Women here stand a better chance to have the same type of opportunities of a man. I didn't see quite a lot like gap or like distance, something between the man and the women at work. If women and men has the same position, earn the same uh, money. People are certain about salary progress and there is no difference if it's a woman or man. I think that the income disparity between males and females probably happens in all places. Here I have found that people are particularly private about their financial means, so I, I can't answer definitely about that. I don't uh, think that they really have the same chance, but uh, Compared with Germany, here are more women working. Yeah, where I work, we are half women. At your job, they try kind of to help you out. You can uh, have flexible schedule. Most of the businesses and you know organizations, companies, uh, they do try to accommodate uh, uh, women with kids or you know being pregnant. Idea around work where you can work part time. It's normal in the United States. It's a real cultural divide between women who stay home and women who go to work. I think the culture doesn't support both partners working full-time. One of the things that really surprised me a lot was um, that um, at the time that I actually was pregnant, uh, I was expecting to give up my job and to dedicate some time to, to my child, which is something that is obviously good for the first months, but I was not uh, ever, uh, I was never intending to switch to a part-time position only because I became a mother. I felt that there was some kind of a cultural resistance about the fact that I still wanted to pursue my career. I think uh, in upper management there may be a little bit more representation of male colleagues. I can also realize that in the top positions we don't have many women. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Just like still men, uh, the still men overwhelming. I still feel that the society has not done yet that step to accept that those opportunities can and should be used.